So hello everybody and welcome to another 25 days of Tax Fridays challenge. If you don't know what that is, link down below, read all the details, participate, it's never too late. If you want to know how I calculated the question on day 24 or you're stuck, this is the video for you. Let's get started. Okay, do it day 24. The question was how many employees sold over $100,000 in 2021. Now, note the 2021 might change. So when you're watching this video, if you do it next year, it will say 2022 and the solution will be different because Northwind, I made the company alive, right? So it changes new sales every day. Okay. Now, the solution to create, to solve this is the same and we're always going to do the same way as we've been doing up to now, which is without DAX and with DAX. So let's do it first without DAX. As always, we're going to frame the problem and understand it, and then we will see how we solve it with DAX. How many employees? So we need to have our employee name in there, or ID, obviously, depending on if you know that they are unique or not. So this is our employees. It says how many employees sold, meaning that we need to have the sales in there, total sales. And then it says over a hundred thousand dollars in 2021. So we need to put the year in. Year. And then we're going to filter that by 2021. Again, for you, it might be 2022. Just check the file. And um, sort this thing. We go to total sales and we say that is over. greater than a hundred grand. Boom. So, right? We have four employees that sold over a hundred thousand dollars in 2021. How do we create this in DAX? Let's figure this thing out, shall we? So, we go to our measure table, day 24, Day 24. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is to actually set the year, the same thing that we did yesterday, right? So we're going to do current year is equal to the year of today. My today is going to be different than your today, okay? So return. Before we use the current year, we're first going to calculate the number of employees in a table when sales are over 100, then we would use a year. So we're going to count rows of what? Of a table. Count rows works on table. So our table is going to be a filter table, right? Where we want to have employee ID and sales over 100,000. So we're going to have count rows of a filter table where it's going to be employee ID give us the unique values of employee ID and where sales is bigger than 103, right? So over 100,000. So this will count the number of employees that have over 100,000, but it's not a specifying which year, right? And we want to have for 2021. So for that, you can, for example, there's a million ways to do this. So you will do calculate the count of rows, but where ca uh, calendar year, where are you, my dear, is equal to the current year that we set up up there. For me, 2021, probably you do next year, 2022, depends on where you're doing this. And if I put this in there, hopefully we will get four. Otherwise, we're smoked. I will get four. Okay, now, tomorrow is the 25th of December. If you're celebrating Christmas, you're probably with your family. I'm sorry to get, do this to you. I totally understand that if you don't do it tomorrow, you do it next year. But I will do it anyway. So I will see you for the last time this year tomorrow. Unless I do a chart clearer video, we will see. Um, Happy New Year. And... Happy Christmas. No, I'll do it tomorrow. I will do that tomorrow. Bye-bye.